Erica talked about those flood watches up across uh, Mercer, Lawrence and Columbiana counties uh, through uh, tomorrow. And again, uh, watching because of all the heavy rain we had around uh, this afternoon. The good news that rain is starting to taper off in many spots here as we go through the evening. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the pictures sent in and we'll start with that heavy rainfall. These were sent in through our reported site. Uh, we were streaming live all afternoon long as these thunderstorms moved on through. We had heavy rain. We had hail. Look at this marble sized hail uh, sent into us uh, from down around Columbia County. I'm guessing didn't get a location on this. And then, of course, the damage. We talked about this at the top of the newscast trees taking down power lines. Uh, the good news uh, most of those big thunderstorms are now long gone across the area, but leaving in its wake heavy rainfall 2.3 inches of rainfall out around Berlin Center across a big part of northern Mahoning County north of 224, uh, close to two inches or more of rainfall over the past 24 hours off to the south 1.6 inches. James was down here uh, into uh, the southern local school district area east of Selineville around Highland Town where some strong wind moved through and that heavy rainfall falling uh, in many spots across the region. Now those big thunderstorms are gone but still not completely done with the threat of a shower or a thunderstorm here at home. Uh, some of those showers still popping up around Sharon uh, southeastern Trumbull County around the Hub area over to West Middlesex. Also off to the north, some showers lingering here up around Kinsman and Mecca in northeastern uh, Trumbull County. So uh, the risk of a thunderstorm stays with us this evening, but those big storms that we had earlier, those are long gone off to our southeast tonight, causing trouble close to Washington DC at this point. So on the move out of here, uh, this storm system will slide on through and the risk of showers and storms leave in a very big way for the weekend. So here's future tracker the rest of the evening. Still the chance of a shower or a thunderstorm this evening, not as strong as what we had around earlier today and uh, toward morning. These showers will taper off. Watch for some patchy fog to get your Friday morning started. Uh, temperatures dipping into the 60s. Tomorrow will be a cooler day and not not as humid clouds around early but those clouds will break up through the afternoon into the evening. I'm looking for mostly sunny skies and then clearing skies as we go into Friday night and Saturday. Saturday should have wall to wall sunshine around and a beautiful way to start your Father's Day weekend and Father's Day is even looking nicer. Temperatures out there right now around 70 degrees in most spots. We're going to dip into the 60s tonight. Showers and thunderstorms tapering off. Watch for that fog into first thing tomorrow morning. A high of 80 tomorrow. Uh, mostly sunny skies by afternoon. We'll have those clouds around early and that patchy fog. Your seven day forecast showing you a very sunny weekend. Mid 80s Saturday and Sunday for Father's Day. A few more clouds on Monday. Oh, it's going to get hot. Hey, that's the last day of spring on Monday. Summer starts Monday evening. And just as summer starts, Erica, the temperatures start dropping a little cooler on Tuesday. Chance of showers and storms and then cooling down with highs only in the 70s through the middle of next week. You always notice when the rain cools off the pool water, right? But hopefully by this weekend, it'll warm back up. A I bit. think so. I think we'll be looking for yeah. the pools around here. All yeah, right. Sounds Monday. good. Hey, we'll